You are now tuned in to Full Style. Today's video, I will be attempting to recreate a Joker costume. <sighs> it is full. It has been a while. We'll get right into it. Today's video is so exciting because it is October and we are full into spooky season. <laughs> we are full into spooky season. I'm so so very excited. And today is going to be today's video is going to be I first Halloween costume of the year. So excited. So, today's costume is going to be the Joker. <laughs> Why so serious? I was challenged by a friend to recreate a Joker's Halloween makeup and I was like, I'm going to go more than just makeup and I'm going to try to recreate a costume. After hours spending searching Pinterest and Google and other creative resources, I decided to do a crossbreed of two of my favorite Jokers of all time. And that is Heath Ledger Joker from the Dark Knight Rising series and Gerard Letter from the Suicide Squad. I am so, so very excited because I get to do the makeup oh, of Gerald Leto Joker, which oh, iconic and I get to bring on the dark, gritty, just mayhem aesthetic of Heath Ledger. May he rest in peace. So, I'm so very excited. So, let's get into it. So, I wanted to make things easier on myself this year. And I wanted to thrift a lot of the pieces that I will be using to create this costume. Instead of me sitting down and trying to sew every, every piece. I, I can't do that to myself. So, I went... Did a lot of research. And I love how Heath Ledger's costume is very simple. It is a overcoat, long trench coat, a vest or waistcoat, um, with a top as well as a bottom, and then like some loafers. I love how simple it is. This is this is the look that he mainly wears throughout the entire movie, and it was something I knew I can replicate easily with thrifted pieces. So. I'm going to go rummage through my stash and see what I can pull out to see what I need to go through or what I need to DIY. I'll be back. So, <laughs> this is what I found in my closet before I even got to the grocery store. Um, I have this, hmm, what color is this? Teal button up shirt that fits. Well, I hit the jackpot with this. I had some stuff that was thrifted but really gifted to me by an elder, older young woman who no longer had any for me. Knew that I loved thrifted pieces and knew I liked recreating things. So she gave me a, a few suits. <sighs> the older people in their suits. So I have this perfectly long kind of eggplant purple long blazer overcoat which is perfect. Almost literally matches um, Heath Ledger's long thrifted trench jacket that I was talking about. Perfect. And it fits good. I will be possibly removing the shoulder pads because it is a little tight on the arms. And then I also have this another long overcoat trench long long line blazer in this kind of chartreuse um sap green more like more like, like moss green trench color here so what i'm thinking i haven't got to the bottoms yet but i know i could just finesse it with like some black leggings or some jeans to really switch it up a little bit what i'm thinking is i can take this because it doesn't really fit it's a size 20 can sell it, I can give it away, but why would I do that when I can create something out of it? 
So what I'm thinking is that I can turn this into the vest because this seems like to be the perfect shade match. Um, I could use this shirt, but it's not giving me the vibe I want. I could probably wear it underneath, see how that goes, but I think that may be a little bit too many greens. So I'm thinking I can use this to create what I need because it's enough material. I'm pretty sure I can make a vest out of it. I may have to add in some different panels because it may not fit all the way around, but I think I can get away with it. Okay, stylers, change of plans. The fabric for that green duster was terrible. It was freeing all over the place and it was really difficult to work with. I wasn't satisfied with how it looks. So I'm going to improvise. I'm going to grab my favorite green neon top. Button up. It's a long button up, oversized men's button up, and I'm going to be using it instead. You still get the look of the Joker, but less work. You can um, thrift or borrow any large um, green top oversized man's button up and with that you have this final joker look i just threw on some jeans and some sneakers because i was running around a park i really guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a real simple this could be a very quick last minute halloween costume perfect for those virtual zoom parties enjoy and happy halloween